What? 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 Yes! I love this song. I love this song. I didn't know there was a video though. Oh, is this like Macklemore or whatever? Really? Macklemore? I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Looking for a come up. This is fing awesome. Walk up to the club like what up? I got a big Oh, what? This is like seriously like the only rap song that I really like. But like, damn, that's a cold ass honky. Macklemore, so sexy. I never knew he was white till now. I had no idea that a white guy did this. Probably should have watched this. Smells like R. Kelly sheets. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna take your grandpa style. I'm gonna take your grandpa style. No, for real. Ask your grandpa, can I have his hand me down? I can take some pro wings, make them cool. Yellow, so stick your heads and be like, ah, uh, he got the bell, bro. Why is there, why that woman is scaring me? Oh, she's fine. She's very, very attractive. Oh my god, she looks like a lobster. Awesome. Grandma, your auntie, your mama, your mammy. I'll take those flannel zebra jammies second hand and rock that mother. The built in onesie with the socks on and the fuck. Okay, I want those Batman onesie. I want a pair of those now. They be like, oh, that Gucci, that's hella tight. I'm like, yo, that's $50 for a t shirt. See, I'm all about the $50 t shirts. I'm trying to rock some Gucci. He's like the first white guy that can actually rap after Eminem. I'll wear your granddad's clothes. I'm looking incredible. I'm in this big ass hole. From the thrift shop down the road. I'm going to pop some tags. Only got $20. That was effing awesome. I love that. It's so good. It's just, he's awesome. <laughs> that looks like that would have been fun. I would have loved to be a part of that music video. What song was that? Thrift Shop. Thrift Shop. That was Thrift Shop by Macklemore. Me and my mom, we blast that in the car and we'll drive down the road like, what's up? <laughs> Do you like the song? I don't know if I like it, but it definitely gets stuck in my head a lot. It's a little too raunchy for me. Yes, I like this song. I love the song. I love this song. I love Thrift Shop. It's a good song, but I just think it's like overplayed. Why do you think it is such a good song? Because it's so fetch. I like the beat of it. It's like dun, 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 dun. Most rap music is just like swag, swag, YOLO. But he, his like lyrics are actually pretty good. I like the, the message like it was conveying that it's okay to shop at Thrift Shop. Stores. Do you think that there's a deeper meaning to like what he's trying to talk about when it comes to thrift shops? Be original. You don't need a lot of money to look good. It's really cool to be poor. I love it. It's awesome. Bro, you gotta be your own person. Go to thrift shop. It's like a two dollars for that exact same shirt, you know? Clothes these days are super expensive. Sixty dollars for like probably like this, but this is my sister's, so I don't care what she paid for it because I stole it from her. Do you shop for clothes in thrift shops? No, I don't. I don't really go to thrift shops. I haven't, but now, now I'm tempted to go do it. All the time. Like everything I'm wearing, thrift shops. Yes, I do. Do I look like a person that would wear Gucci and all this stuff? Uh, no. There's nothing wrong with it, and I think a part of me also is like, likes to shop at thrift stores because the tread now. Uh, no, my mom does all my shopping. I don't buy any clothes. I'm, I'm lazy and I don't care what I wear. What are your thoughts about clothes being so expensive depending on the brand and company that makes it? I think it's ridiculous. It's dumb. People think you need expensive clothes to be popular. Like, okay, I can get a bathing suit at like Target for like $20 and then if I want to get one for like Victoria's Secret, it's like $100 for this little piece of like fabric. I love designer clothes. A Gucci shirt is like $300. The quality of that shirt is a lot better than like a Target V-neck. You see people walking down the street, you can judge them because of what brand they're wearing. I can't stand that. Like I just think if, it, if you like it and you want to wear it, wear it. It shouldn't matter what brand it is. Truth. How often do you shop for clothes? Maybe once a month. Probably every few months. Usually like I'll go when my grandparents are in town because you know, grandparents, they spoil you. A lot, all the time. A lot. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm addicted to clothes. Do I have to answer that question? Oh dude, it's bad every weekend probably. Why so often? I don't know, it's just like a girl thing. Girls, they get bored with their clothes. For me, it's like I want to wear what like the like celebrities wear. Mm -hmm. So like I'll go like spend more money on something just so I can like look like them. I consider it a hobby, like uh, it's bad. Why is it this constant obsession with needing to get new clothes all the time? Why not? 
you know? You want to look good, like, to impress people. Because this is a materialistic consumer society and I have learned the ways of it. I don't want to wear something twice. I pick out an outfit that I think looks good on me and then I will literally wear it every single day. It's not like it's dirty or anything, it's perfectly clean. But when you wear something every single day, it gets to a point where people around you are like, why do you keep wearing the same clothes every day? I think in my head, some people don't have any clothes, so like, why is it such a big deal I wear the same thing every day? I think people just really want attention with the clothing that they're, they wear. So back to the song, he, one of the lyrics is, I wear your granddad's clothes, I look incredible. Would you ever wear your grandparents clothes to school? Hell yeah. Yeah? My granddad's not the, the most stylish kind of guy. I'm Middle Eastern and the clothes are a little different and low key they might think I'm a terrorist. <laughs> Macklemore has stayed independent his entire career and he hasn't signed with a major record label. What do you think about that? Well, I think if he wants to make this a career, he's gonna have to sign with a record label. I'm not so sure that he won't join a record label. That's actually kind of inspirational. I don't really know like, how important it is to have a label. I don't think you need to sign with somebody major. Sometimes that's worse. There's a lot of rappers now that like to stay independent and underground. I like the messages that come out of the more independent people than the mainstream people. Big corporate people might tell you to, oh, change this, change that. But I don't get why they say that because they're not the artists. They're the guys in the suits who went to law school or whatever. So keep that to yourself and Malcolm Moore should just keep doing what he's doing. This song has become number one on the charts and has over 60 million views. Why do you think this became so mainstream? Because he's not talking about boobs or ass or like, I'm a f you, you know? I think a lot of people relate to the lyrics. Thrift shops are a really big thing and people can relate to that. Radio turns everything like mainstream. For one thing, it is a funny song and people have a little humor in their life every once in a while. I don't know, like I really don't know what it is. I just really like it. Yeah. <laughs> like it's so like weird for me to like something like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Teens React. Have a video that you want us to watch next? Leave it in the comments below. Subscribe, come on, do it. I'm not playing. How do you have a party in space? You plan it. Oh. <laughs> Until next time. Ciao.